today in this class we have taken uh, mcq question and answer from uh, indian polity this is the first video of chapter wise mcq series in this video we have taken mcq question and answer from the chapter indian constitutional development this is the chapter 1 of indian polity uh, this video is important for all this exam those who are going to appear for this exam you can focus on this video and practice the question uh, given in the upcoming slides okay without wasting any time let us see our first question for today sorry which act of the british parliament abolished the uh, east india company's monopoly over trade in india answer will be charter act 1883 charter act 1813 okay let us move to our next question throw which one of the following were commercial activities of east india company finally put to an end answer is charter act 1853 next question which of which act for the first time made it possible for indians to take share in the administration of their country after which act the indian the people of indian also became eligible to be in the part of the administration of the country answer is charter act 1833 next question the act that transferred the power from the british east india company to the british crown after which act the power from the british east india company has been transferred to the british crown answer is 1858 government of india act 1858 next question in which of the following act was provision made for the establishment of supreme court of calcutta this question we have taken uh, earlier also na supreme court of calcutta has been uh, established after which act answer is regulating act 1773 next question which act of the british parliament took the first step to control and regulate regulate the affairs of the east india company answer is regulating act 1773 next question the act that transferred power from the east india company to the british crown answer is government of india act 1858 next question Which among the following was passed by the uh, British Parliament to increase the size of legis legislative councils? Answer is after the uh, Indian Council Act 1919, the size of the legislative council has been increased by the British Parliament. Next question: The Act of 1909 was associated with the Act of 1999 was deal with which? introduction of separate electorate for muslims the 1900 act of 1909 uh, deals with the introduction of separate electorate for the muslim of the country okay next question the indian legislature was made bicameral for the first time by which act after which act the uh, indian legislature was made bicameral for the first time after the act of government of india act 1919 uh, the indian legislature was made the bicameral for the first time next question in the context of indian history the principle of diarchy refers to see though this one is indian polity na but chapter 1 from indian polity that means the evolution of the uh, indian constitution or the development of indian constitution this chapter is related to the history also okay so don't confuse with the question these are uh, questions from polity but uh, though this chapter is related to the indian history that is why questions from indian history also included in this slide okay answer uh, question is in the context of indian history the principle of diarchy refers to that means diarchy means what diarchy means introduction of double government central and state government okay next question which of the following was the main feature of the government of india act 1919 answer is 
number option number one is introduction of separate electorate of Muslim. This act is for uh, the introduction of separate electorate for Muslim introduces after which act? Act of 1909. Nah? In the previous slide, we have uh, studied this thing. Nah? That means this option is incorrect. Next question. Development of legislative authority by the center. This one will be correct. Next option. Expansion and re reconstruction, reconstitution of central and provincial legislature. That means option 3 also correct. That means answer will be option number D. Let us move to our next question for today. The Morlemento reform was uh, declared in the year. In, in which year the Morlemento was introduced? In the year 1909. In the previous two slides we have studied about 1909. Na? That means what? 1909 is the Morlemento reforms. Okay. M. M. R. Okay. Oh. MMR deals with what? Morlemento reform deals with what? Introduction of separate electorate for Muslim. You should remember this question. These questions are very important for the upcoming exams. Okay, let us see our next question. Okay, here is our next question for today. Which of the following acts provided for communal representation in British India? Which of the following acts provided the communal representation in India? That means introduction of separate electorate for Muslim. And when when the electorate of Muslim has been created, they also have uh, taken part in the uh, in the British India. Okay, in the representation of British India in the uh, communal representation, they also are they are also communal. They have provided their representation in the British India after Morley Minto reform of 1909. Okay, let us see our next question. By which of the following act, legislature, legislative control of India received the power to discuss the budget? After which act, the legislative control of India received uh, the power to discuss the budget? After the act of 1909, the uh, Legislative Council of India has taken the power to discuss the budget after the act of 1909. That means option number C is correct for this question. Let us move to our next question for today. One among the following was not a salient feature of the Government of India Act 1935. That means among the four options, uh, you, you have to find out the incorrect option. Okay. You have to find out the incorrect option. So, incorrect option will be it abolished the diarchy at the provincial level and introduced at the center. This one is incorrect. That means option number D is incorrect. All the three are correct. Let us read the options first. The act provided for all India federation. That means the feature of the government of India act. The feature of the government of India act 1935. Number one is it uh, provided for an all India federation. Number two is the residuary power were allocated to provincial legislature also. Number three is it marked the beginning of the provincial autonomy. Okay. These are the three features of the uh, Government of India Act 1935. That means if the question comes, which one of the following is the feature of the Government of India Act 1935? Answer will be if this question, uh, this option are included, then means answer will be what? Option number A or 2 or 3. Okay. Or both. 3 are the correct answer for this question. Okay. Let us move to our next question for today. Okay. Here is our next question for today. Which of the following was the main feature of the Government of India Act 1919? Like I already said that this question may also come in the exam. So, what are the options? What are the correct options? Let us read first. The Act provided for the establishment for the first time in India of a Public Service Commission. This one will be correct. Then, the Act provided for the appointment of an Indian to the Viceroy's Executive Council as well as the Provincial Executive Council. This one is wrong. Next is a provision for was made for classification of central and provincial subject. This one is correct. That means option number 1 and 3 will be the correct answer for this question. And your option will be option number C. Okay. Let us move to our next question for today. 
which one of the following act reserved seat for women in legislature in accordance with the allocation of seat for different communities? Answer will be option number C, the Government of India Act 1919. Next, next question. Which, which of the following is or are the principal features of the Government of India Act 1919? Answer will be Introduction of Diarchy in the Executive Government of the Provinces. This one is correct. Then Introduction of Separate, electro, uh, separate Communal Electorate for Muslim. This one is also correct. Next question. Uh, next option. Devolution of legislative authority by the center to the provinces. This one is also correct. That means answer will be 1, 2 and 3. Option number D will be the correct answer for this question. Let us move to our next question for today. Which of the following act advocated the creation of the federal court in India? The, co the establishment of federal court, court in India was introduced by which commission? Commission is... The Ali Commission of 1923 provided for the establishment of federal court in India. Option number B is the correct answer for this question. Let us move to our next question for today. One among the following was not the feature of the provincial executive, uh, executive according to the Government of India Act 1935. That means among the four options, there is one option which is, which is incorrect. Let us find the incorrect one. Option number A is the executive authority of the province was vested in the gover uh, governor. Answer, uh, option one is correct. Next is there was a control for uh, there was a control. There was a council of minister to advise the governor. This one is also correct. Diarchy was established by the government of India Act 1919 was abolished at the provincial level this one is also correct and option number d is the governor should uh, could be removed by a veto no confidence of the provincial legislator this one is incorrect government can governor can be moved by the impeachment only okay which is included in the article 61 of the constitution of india okay that means option number d is correct answer for this question that means it does it it is the it is not the feature of the Government of India Act 1935. Okay. Let us move to our next question for today. Which among the following statement regarding the Government of India Act 1935 is not correct? Your options are option, option number A is the provincial autonomy came into existence. Option number 2 Option number B, bicameral legislator were provided in six provinces. Next option, the principles of communal electorate and weightage were further extended. Next, the state were compelled to enter into federation. I have not provided the answer for this question. You should write the answer in the comment section. I will check your comment in the upcoming video. Okay, here is the end of the video. We shall meet in the next video. Thank you all.